To use ThingLink with your iPad, there are a couple of options. The first is just to do it on a regular web browser. So this is in Safari. Go to ThingLink.com, and it works just the the same as uh, on any other browser on a regular desktop or laptop computer. So you can upload from, uh, in this case, your camera roll. So clicking on here, click on camera roll, and you have whatever images your four and six year old put on. And the capabilities of this are just the same on the browser. So this is a lot better for editing things uh, and, and being able to work with your account. If you use the app, which is in portrait mode, uh, if you use the app, it doesn't have some of those capabilities, so it's a little bit annoying when you want to edit something, but it does have a couple cool features that you may want to try out. So with the app to uh, add an image, you click on the, the camera at the bottom, and again, your camera roll is filled by children who take screenshots of the games that they play, but you can also take a picture on the fly, and that's the cool part for maybe classroom use. So. You can take that picture, you can tell it to use that photo. Now, on the iPad, you only get one chance to edit your images, and they put a couple in already for you. So this told me when it was captured. I don't really care about that, so I'm going to delete that. They'd also put in some other camera roll pictures, so I can delete those too. But just by tapping anywhere, you can add in your text. Or you can add in a hyperlink. But if you add in text and a hyperlink like you would on a browser, uh, it won't separate them out. It won't say, here's my text, and then here's the cool link. It will put it all together as text. And the other cool thing is you can, again, on the fly, add something else to this. So I can take a video now, and they want you to do it in landscape mode. So when I'm ready, I can click the video, and so now I can talk about the lovely art here. Click it again to stop, and then that video pops up within here. So. I had this YouTube that doesn't pop up as a cool YouTube image, but the video that I just took will. You could also, with this, add media and choose from your gallery, or that's how you would choose from YouTube. So putting in a YouTube link doesn't work the same on your iPad as it would with uh, your desktop. Now, like I said earlier, you get one shot on the iPad to edit things. So once I hit Next, um, I guess I could hit edit and go back and, and rearrange things, but here's where you put your title, which you want to make sure you do. And when you're ready, let's hit done, let's save this. So when it's ready, I can go in, I can look at my text, I can take a hyperlink, but it doesn't really send me anywhere. But I can go to my video that I made earlier. Now, I don't know if it's just my iPad, but up here in the corner you have the little edit uh, button, and that doesn't do anything for me. So, to edit these, you would have to go into a browser, load up that image, and work with it from there. But the on-the-fly stuff with these is pretty cool, so you could give that a try.